guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Strong Series. <laughs> and today, what we're going to do is a 40 minute strong legs calisthenics. What does that mean? That means we are just going to use a body weight. We're not going to use any dumbbells, okay? Lots of control, but I am still going to use some equipment. So I am going to use my yoga block for some elevated lunges. Now, if you do not do full range lunges, don't use the elevated. That is for those who have full range and we're going to get a little bit deeper because of that elevation. So if you're not there yet, then just stay with regular lunges. I'm going to use my bench for a lot of activities. I'm going to go sit on it. We're going to do Bulgarian split squats. We're going to use that. So like an ottoman, a chair, um, the couch will work. And if not, you can still do a lot of these activities on the mat. And we are going to do some activities on the mat too. So grab your mat, your sweat towel, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully I had a chance to grab all your toys and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just some squats right here. Down and up. And let's actually do a little bit of a step. Squat a little bit neutral. Step out a little bit wide. Ooh, mixing that up, baby. Yeah, get those legs moving and feeling amazing. Now, just because we're doing body weight doesn't mean it's gonna be easier, okay? Just means it's gonna be different a little bit and how we control. Okay, one more on each side. Boom, squat, step, squat. Now let's reach back and then let's hinge down, okay? Let's reach back, hinge down. Let's do two more just like that, reaching back. Hinge and down, last time, reach back, hands down, and we're gonna go down into a deeper squat and then press those knees back. Deeper squat, press those knees back. Oh yeah, two more. Last one, now let's stay low and just open up those hips right there. Ooh yeah, as low as you can go, could be a little different. Okay, and then we're gonna put our hands down and we're gonna twist open to the ceiling. Oh yeah, nice good reach. Open up those hips. And that thoracic spine, one more on each side. It feels so good. Then we're gonna put those hands right there on those knees. We're gonna do a cat and cow, in and out. In and out, two more. Last one. And then we're gonna open up those hips and drive that shoulder to the opposite side, right there. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, come on up. Let's drive that hip and that knee to the, I mean that knee and that, oh, should, <laughs> Elbow to the opposite side and twist. Oh, goodness, come on. Oh, one more on each side. And this time we're gonna straighten those legs out and we're gonna kick out straight and kind of get those hamstrings just a little bit more. Ooh, yeah. One more on each side. Okay, then we're gonna go right here, down and up into a nice good lunge, nice and controlled, full range. As you come up, let's pop that toe up. Boom. Boom, two more. Last one, okay, and then we're gonna go into a low lunge and try and straighten that front knee. Low lunge, try and straighten that front knee. Two more. Last one. This time, let's stay low. Rotate over that knee. Drive that elbow in as low as you can go. Then rotate over that knee. Drive that elbow in as low as you can go. A last time. Oh yeah, then we're gonna go to the center. We're gonna do a nice, good inner thigh. Go as low as you can go. Ooh, yeah, baby. Last one. And then we're gonna go to this side. We're gonna go down and up in those full lunges. And we're gonna try and pop that toe and then go down. Three more. Two more. Last one. Let's go into that low lunge and try and straighten this front knee. Low lunge. Oh, yeah. Last time. And then we're gonna try and go rotate over that knee. Drive that elbow in, rotate over that knee. Drive that elbow in, last time. Step back into plank, into downward dog, walk that all the way up. Okay, let's do a big hip circle right here. Boom, boom, boom. Other direction, come up and over. Lots of hip movement right there. Other side, like you're going up and over a hurdle. Up, out and over, oh yeah. Other direction. Okay, and then we're gonna keep that knee straight, foot flex. We're gonna drive that heel back and squeeze that glute for me. Three more, two more. Last one, bend that knee and drive through that heel again. Squeeze that glute. Here we go. Three, two, 
Last one, other side, same thing. Just enough to squeeze that glute, activate that baby. Three, two, last one, bend and push for three, two, last one. Here we go, big hula hoop. Oh yeah, hula hoop it the other way. Oh yeah. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna work for 40 seconds. We're going, everything is gonna be our right and left side today. Okay, so we will do two times on each side, okay? Now, if you do not have, full, we're gonna do a lunge first. The block, a book, something that's elevated that won't slide. Okay, it just allows me to go down into a fuller range, okay? So we're gonna do a nice good static lunge, down and up, nice and controlled. If you don't have full range, don't use the block. Are you ready to try this? Here we go, three, two, one. All the way down, all the way up. Now, it is nice and controlled, but it is body weight, so I'm able to go through it just a little bit faster. I wanna control that movement. I'm gonna push through that front foot, okay? That back foot should only be about maybe 30% of your body weight. Okay, that front foot is doing the work, and you're going as deep as you can. We're really pushing that range today, okay? We can control a little bit more, not having the dumbbells, and I'm pushing that range. We're gonna do the other side in five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, other side. Again, controlling that, moving it through that movement. Here we go. In three, two, one, down and up. Static position, pressing through that front foot. That's the one that's doing the work. Going as deep as you can, whatever that looks like for you. Okay, if you do not work on strengthening your range of motion, you will lose that motion, okay? So as we work on mobility and we gain more range of motion, then we've got to strengthen in it or we'll lose it. Oh yeah. Okay, got 15 more seconds and then we're gonna do one more on each side. Come on, press your front foot. You got this, five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, got it? We got this. Right side, here we go, full range in three, two, one. Straight down and back up. Boom, and back, pressing through that front foot. Okay, that back foot's there a little bit more for balance. The front foot's doing the work. Nice and controlled. Okay, as you are able to control it, then you can speed that up a little bit more. It's not like it's, we're not in a race, but I want you to push that body. Push the range, push it. Come on, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yeah, we got the other side, right? Woo, let's finish this. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, come down and up. Push through that range. Okay, our next activity is going to be a balance challenge. <laughs> I know you're like, wait, what? Yeah, we're gonna push that balance. Okay, we're gonna do some hip hinges. We're gonna do some balance with that other leg up. Right, we're not doing weights, so this is when we get to really practice some of this, okay? Challenge that system. Here we go, 10 more seconds. I almost said 10 more minutes. Oh man. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna hinge down. We're gonna lift that other leg up. We're gonna go out and in, drive the knee up. Hinge down, out, and in. Now, I'm not gonna open up that hip. That hip's gonna stay down. I'm gonna have a nice neutral spine. Now, if you need to, you may be right here with your balance. That's okay. Okay, challenge it, right? Be safe, be somewhere near you can touch balance, right? But you gotta push that balance and challenge it to get better. Here we go, three, two, one. Hinge down, in, out. Drive the knee up, hinge down. In and out with those arms and drive the knee up. Can you do this the entire time without touching down? You may be like, nope, that's okay. I'm saying this is where you can get to that challenge, right? Hey, okay, maybe it's 
touch. If you can come all the way up into that knee drive. Oh yeah. Come on. Challenge that thing. Okay, we'll do the other side in about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Other side, now we have to see which side do you do better on, right? Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Hinge down, in and out with those arms. Drive the knee up, okay? Hinge down, neutral spine. Okay, maybe your foot can go up as high. Okay, that's okay. You may be lacking mobility, or you just may be having too hard on balance right now. That's okay, I know. There's a challenge. We're all good at something, not as good at something else, but we've got to challenge our system. Okay, so do the best you can and stay safe. Oh yeah, come on. You got this, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, guess what? We got the other side. One more on each side, how about that? Here we go, three, two, one. Hinge down, drive those arms in and out, and then drive into that knee. Boom. Nice and steady. Hinge over, down, drive that knee. Now, for balance, if you find a fixed point, that will make it easier. We have several pieces that help us with our balance. We have our vision, we have our inner ear that tells us like kind of where we are in space with our head, and then we have little sensors into our joints that tell us where we are in space, okay? All of those, if you fix that point, you're gonna help yourself in that balance. Here we go, four, three, two, one, and a rest. One more of these, okay? That sounds like fun. Don't worry, my next activity's got balance too. Here we go, three, two, one. You know how much I love to work on balance, okay? When we work on balance, right, it's a use it, lose it system. So if we don't work on it, we will lose it. That's why we used to be so good at kids. We were always on that jungle gym, okay? Also, as we age, we can easily lose that balance skill if we're not practicing it. Also, when we do balance, man, does that work deep core muscles. So we're not just working those legs. We are working that entire core. You know I love a two multi-task. Come on, almost there. Hinge down, drive that knee up for four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Not done with the balance. Here we go. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice good curtsy lunge, and we're gonna circle that leg up. Circle that leg down. Okay, I'm gonna lift up, circle it out into that knee drive, circle it back, okay? Control and balance. Do the best you can. If it's just like this, Great, it's a start, right? Push your body, challenge your body. Okay, like I said, we don't have weights. We get to be a little more creative. Okay, so let's try this. Here we go. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna curtsy down. I'm gonna go around into a knee drive. And then I'm gonna go back and around into a curtsy. I'm gonna lift that leg up as I control coming up. So I'm controlling going down and up as I drive around into a circle. <laughs> Right, balance, yay. Control, core, leg strength, right? Again, it doesn't have to look like this yet, right? Maybe you're touching a lot. That's okay. Do the best you can. That's what I'm looking for. The best version of you and that you're challenging yourself. Three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna try the other side. How does that look? Okay, may not look as good, that's okay. Are you working on it? That's what we're working on. In three, two, one. We're curtsying, coming up into that knee drive. Curtsying, circle down. Oh, 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 oh. Right, lots of control. You were like, um, you did not say how much balance we're gonna work on. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. Control that down, back and around, and back, come on. Like I said, it doesn't have to look like this yet. It's a start, right? If you're working and challenging yourself, that's what's gonna make you better. You just gotta challenge it, okay? Whatever that looks like for you in that challenge piece. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, one more time on each side, right? Paying attention to which side's a little bit easier. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Curtsy down to that big circle. Knee drive it up, circle it back around. Okay, so what are we doing? We're also working on mobility. You see how much more hip movement I am using knee, ankle. Now, that also can be your limiting factor. Okay, maybe your knee is not able to do that all the way. Maybe it's your ankle, your hip, right? Gives us some ideas of like, ooh, maybe I need to work on that. 15 more seconds on this side. Oh, nice and controlled for five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Last time, okay? Then we're gonna get that darn bench out, that chair, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, coming down, circling up on this side. You will notice that you're gonna be stronger on one side, a little bit more balanced on the other side. We typically have a dominant leg, Dominant everything, really. Dominant foot, dominant leg, dominant arm and hand, right? Dominant eye, even a dominant nostril, okay? Sounds crazy, but it is very true. You got 15 more seconds of this. We are going to do a Bulgarian split squat next, okay? Uh, a back lunge if you don't have a, a bench. In three, two, one, and rest, okay. So it's a back step. Nice tall trunk, because we're gonna do a lean over after that. Okay, so nice tall trunk. If you have a chair or a bench, you're going to put your foot right out. You're gonna stand up. You're gonna put your toe laces right on the bench. You're gonna have a nice tall trunk. You're gonna go as low as you can go, pressing through that front foot, okay? That's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do right, left, right, left, for some uh, fun, okay? You ready to try this? Here we go, three, two, one. Step up, come all the way down. Give me that full range, right? Today is about as much range of motion. We're doing a lot more. This is still balance. If this is challenging your balance, right? Maybe have it near something you can touch if you lose balance. Okay, nice tall chest. We're gonna do a lean over next, or after this set. And where we gonna focus more on the glute and hams right now. A little more quad focus as we stand nice and tall. Coming all the way down, all the way up. 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna flip sides. Strong core for four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, now I'm gonna stick that left foot out. Put my right laces up there. It's tall chest, here we go. Three, two, one, all the way down, all the way up. Controlling it both directions. Boom, okay, give me that full extension when you come all the way up. Open up those hips, tall chest. Go as low as you can go. Pop that open. Pushing through that front foot. That front foot is doing the work, if you can't tell. <laughs> come on, 15 more seconds. And then one more on each side. We've got five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, other side. You ready? Here we go. Get in position. In three, two, one, all the way down, all the way up. Okay, tall chest, full range. Okay, maybe that's just that step back lunge. That's okay. Okay, if that's where you're at, or you didn't have something to elevate it, that's okay. Nice and controlled all the way through that motion. Okay, got about 10 more seconds. Then we'll finish out on that other side. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one. Oh yeah, here we go. In three, two, one, all the way down, all the way up. Nice and controlled, tall chest. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have a nice good lean over position. You're gonna feel those glutes a little bit more. 
Okay, keep, make sure you're still doing full range, right? All the way up, opening up those hips. Coming all the way down as low as you can go. Opening up those hips, 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness, shake out those quads. Okay, again, same thing, finding that position. I'm gonna lean over and I'm gonna stay leaning over going down and up, okay? If I don't have the bench, I'm doing a step back lunge and I'm leaning over and going up and down, okay? Okay, we're getting a little more of those glute and hamstrings. You ready to do this? Get in position, here we go, in three, two, one, down and up, pressing through that foot, leaning over as much as you can, and then working to straighten that knee. Oh, baby, feel those glute and hamstrings. Oh, yeah, they're gonna talk to you. Okay, again, a lot of balance challenge, no matter if you're doing this on the bench or doing a lean over back lunge. Oh, yeah, come on, 15 more seconds. Nice and controlled, you got this. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Hello, hamstrings and glutes. Whoo, are you ready to do the other side? Here we go. In three, two, one, down, and up. All the way down, as low as you can go. Leaning over. Okay, again, paying attention. Is one side a little bit easier or more challenging, right? And up, come on, control that baby. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. I got some hamstrings and glutes talking to me. Four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh yeah, ho ho ho. Okay, you ready? Other side, here we go. In three, two, one, all the way down. Okay, nice, good lean over. Trying to work on pressing that knee straight. As you stay leaning over, hinged over, neutral spine, okay? And just trying to work on straightening that knee and back down. Controlling that boy B. Oh yeah. You got this. Oh, come on, about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, baby. Okay, last one of these. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, down. And up. Don't worry, we are not done with that bench yet. Oh no, baby. Or that chair, whatever you got, couch, ottoman. We are going to do a single leg squat to that chair, bench, ottoman, whatever you got, okay? Oh yeah. Controlling that, give me full range. Boom, and back. 10 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Push that body. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more now. Quad focus again, okay? We're gonna come down and sit to that bench and control it, okay? I'm not gonna flop. The key is controlling it all the way down, okay? Now, you can put your foot out all the way out or you can have it for balance, toe touch, okay? If you can't go that deep, put some elevated things so as low as you can go, okay? You ready to try this with me? Woo, baby, here we go. In three, two, one. It's slow and controlled. Pop that baby up. Slow that baby down. Pop it up. Slow and controlled. Pop it up. Nice tall chest.
Okay, when we really slow it down against that gravity as we slow it down. Whoa, there's a lot of strength in that. Okay, slow and control all the way down. Oh, yeah. Tall chest for me. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, guess what? We gotta do the other side, okay? You got this? Here we go. Three, two, one. Down. Pop that up. Control. Right? Pay attention. Can this one, is this one more challenged on controlling it? Maybe you need to work on some strength if it can't control it as well down. Right? Tall chest. Controlling it. I'm very slow coming down. Really working on what we call eccentric loading against that gravity. That's actually where we get the most muscle strength. Okay, so control that baby. Come on, 10 more seconds. We're gonna shift that weight and then come back up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We gotta eat one more time on each side. Here we go. In three, two, one. Control that down. Pop that up. Nice and controlled, tall chest. Okay, try and stay nice and even. Try not to be leaning on that side, right? It's the side that's working, but you're still coming straight down and straight up. Whoop, pop that hip open and back down. It's about control, right? We don't have weight, but we are challenging those muscles, right? With all the balance and coordination. Come on, 10 more seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Last one of these. And no, we're not done with the bench. <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo. In three, two, one. Sit down, pop that up. Okay, I have my core engaged. As I sit down, my abs are nice and locked, locking into that neutral spine and exhaling as I come down. Inhale as I push up. Exhale as I come down. Control it, baby. Come on, you got this. 10 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do step ups. Now, I'm gonna use my bench. You may not be able to use the couch. Maybe you can use a book or you can use like a step stool, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up, we're gonna come all the way up, we're gonna extend that back leg, drive that heel, foot flex, squeeze that glute, control that back down, okay? That's what we got going on, okay? You ready to try this with me? Whew. Here we go. In three, two, one, step up. Extend, control it down, all the way down, all the way up. Now, I am not moving fast, but man, am I controlling it all the way up. Extend, control it down. Maybe a little bit faster if yours is a little bit shorter. Okay, so I'm getting the glute on one side, a lot of quad and glute on the other side. Controlling it both directions. I am not dropping down, I am slowing it down in that control. 10 more seconds, baby. And then we're gonna flip sides. Four, three, two, one, and a rest. Nice job, okay. Same thing on the other side. Flex that foot, give a nice good glute squeeze on that, okay, at the top. Here we go, three, two, one, come up. Squeeze that glute, set it down, come up. Give me that extension, that glute activation, control it down. Again, be close to the wall or something in case you lose your balance. So I want this controlled in both directions. Nice work, come on, lift it up, squeeze, control it down. You're rocking this, oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, okay. 
One more time, on each side. Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Lift up, give me that glute squeeze, control it down. Again, my core is nice and strong. Those abs, that pelvic floor, right, is engaged to keep that nice neutral spine. And then I'm using the strength of my legs to push me up. I'm squeezing that glute, controlling that down. Really make sure you are understanding the movement, the control, right? I'm inhaling as I come up, exhaling as I come down. There we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Last one of these, okay? No, we're not done with the bench yet. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> three, two, one. Lift up, drive, control it down. Lift up, squeeze, control that baby down. You got this. Nice work, come on, stay focused. Listen up, squeezing. Coming back down. Control that, drive it, come back down. 15 more seconds. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, okay. We're getting our mat out. And I am going to lay on the ground, but my feet are gonna be up on the elevated surface. Now, you can do this on the ground. Okay, we're gonna do a ham lift. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my feet up there. So I'm just gonna put one at a time. I'm gonna drive that up, control that down. Now, if you are not having an elevated surface, your legs, knees are gonna be pretty straight and you're gonna dig that heel in and lift. So it's not a glute bridge. It's just gonna be a ham lift. You're gonna drive that heel, okay? Let's do this in three. Two, one, lift up, control it down. Notice I am not flopping down. I'm lifting up, controlling that down. Digging through that heel, okay? You should feel that hamstring, it's a lot less glute. We're gonna do glutes after this. This is hamstring. Dig through that heel, control that down. You gotta work that core. You gotta stay stable as you lift up into that extension, controlling it down, okay? That low back does not drop. It stays in that neutral position. Again, I am inhaling as I go up. I am exhaling as I can control that down. Okay, that pattern. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We are switching sides, okay? Breath work matters. Pay attention. Here we go. Woo. In three, two, one. Lift up. Control it down. Okay, squeeze that hamstring at the top, dig through that heel, right? Lift up and control that down. That hamstring attaches behind the knee and right in that sit bone, okay? There's three muscles that make it up, okay? Control that down and they attach. So they help move and bend that knee and then they help extend that hip. They are a powerful group of muscles. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more time on each side. And then, guess what? We're getting rid of the bench. There you go, okay? Or chair or ottoman. Here we go in three, two, one. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you come down, okay? That diaphragm, which is our breathing muscle, is part of our AKA core. When we coordinate that, right, we're gonna, our pelvic, Floor is depicted on its contraction on our breath control. So we are really controlling things when we control that breath. Very important to work on. Exhale as you come down. Okay, 15 more seconds. Inhale, be nice, good exhale as you come down. Come on, 10 more seconds, all the way to that buzzer. You got this. Don't let that flop. We've got four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay last one of these and then we're getting rid of the elevated surface okay here we go in three two one dig through that heel and if that knee is a little bit more straight controlling that down so you're, of course your glutes gonna activate but we're really more focusing on that hamstring lift Whew. yeah and it's talking to me Whew. I 
again, control that down. Exhale as you're coming down, controlling that spine. Oh yeah. Like I said, we are multitasking today, right? We don't just isolate that core. It is involved in all we do. Finish here. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. We are going, we're gonna stay down on the mat. We're gonna do a, um, a glute bridge, but of course you know me. We're gonna add a little bit of caveat to that. Not just a straight glute, we're gonna do a single leg glute bridge. Okay, so your feet are nice flat, shoulder width, the other legs. And we're gonna come up, we're gonna have our foot flex, knee straight. We're gonna lift down and up, then control that back down. We're gonna lift up. We're gonna control that leg down and up. Do the best you can. I know it's challenging. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up. Going down and up. Control that down. Lift up. Hold that glute bridge. Do a nice good leg lift. And then control that down. So we are working those glutes by holding that position and lifting up. But we are working that quad. Okay, I'm keeping that knee really straight. I'm keeping that foot flexed. I'm lifting down and up, and I am working that quad. Okay, we are working both sides of that legs, and guess what? You know our core is activated, absolutely. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's do the other side, because we gotta even ourselves out, right? Okay, knee is straight, foot is flexed. Here we go in three, two, one. Lift up, nice positioning down. And up. It's okay if all you can do right now is maybe a single leg bridge. Maybe that's where your challenge is. That's okay. Do the best. If you need to come down, you can do a leg lift right there and then lift. Okay? We're all in different places. As long as you are pushing you and challenging you. Hold that position. You're going down and up. Back down. Remember, we are not letting that spine relax until we get all the way down to that mat. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more time on each side, and then we get that fun cool down, right? Okay. Here we go. In three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze. Nice good leg lift. Control that down. Lift up and squeeze. Nice good neutral spine. Hold that position as you lift that leg. Then control it all the way down before you relax. Nice work, come on. Controlling, you should be feeling that, like pushing down in that full foot, right? Not the heel, not the toe, but that entire foot should be pushing down. You got 15 more seconds. Nice and controlled, you're doing awesome. Hang in there, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, here is our strong finish. That means go all the way to that buzzer. Give me all you got, challenge it. You got this in three, two, one. Okay, nice and controlled. Why is it a strong finish? Because we go all the way to that buzzer. We're gonna feel accomplished. If we shortchange it, you know what? We start shortchanging it, everything else in our day. Okay, if we go to that buzzer and we get that accomplished feel, guess what? You're gonna push the end in everything you do at work, with your spouse, with your kids, right? With your nutrition. All of that is gonna stay more focused. What you do here matters in how your day goes, okay? You got it, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and wrestle. Let's grab those knees. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, baby, woo. And then we're gonna drop down. Drop one of those legs down, that right leg down. Still hold that left knee up there. You're gonna get a little bit of a hip flexion in that stretch. And then we're gonna rotate that over. Oh, that feels so good. Getting that glute trunk rotation. Woo. Okay, and then we're gonna take that knee, we're gonna open that up. Oh yeah, inner thigh. And if you can, you're gonna grab that foot. You're gonna reach on over. Oh, give me the hamstring and a reach. We're gonna come to that center. Let's pump that toe. Oh, nice, good little sciatic glide. And then we're gonna grab both those knees again. Pull them inside. Oh yeah, that low back. Drop that left leg now. And then we're gonna pull that across. 
Nice, good trunk rotation. Oh yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna come up and we're gonna open up that hip, that knee bent. Okay, and then we're gonna try and straighten that leg. You may not be able to grab your toe, that's okay. Open that up a little bit more with that hamstring. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna pump, try to straighten that knee and we're gonna pump that foot and glide. Okay, this time we're gonna cross that leg over, one leg over that knee and pull that in. Now, if you can't grab that, you can take a towel, right? And do it right through here and grab that and pull that in. We're getting that nice, good glute. And relax, other side. Lift that on up, grab that leg, stretch that glute. And then we're gonna roll to the side. We're gonna grab that foot. We're gonna stretch out that quad. Oh, you know we work that. All those lunges, sitting down on that bench, okay? And then let's finish out by rolling to the other side. You don't have to flip like that, okay? Pull that leg across, stretch out that quad. Oh, that feels so good. Oh yeah, finish here for three. Two, one, high five for rocking that. Now I know I challenged that balance, right? It was so good for our core. Making sure now that we're drinking some water, flushing that system out. Make sure you get some high quality protein, right? We break down that muscle and now we need to rebuild and that needs that protein for those building blocks. So grab some high quality protein, preferably in the next 30 minutes and start that recovery process so you're ready to rock tomorrow and then have a great day. Hey guys, did you like that video? Did you know this is part of my new series, Strong? It is designed to get you a strong muscles, to get you strong heart, and even to get you a strong mind because we need to be the best version of ourselves and with that comes strength. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss what's coming up. Also, make sure we become friends on social media so you can follow along, get great tips, or even reach out if you need personal coaching because I love helping women feel strong, confident, and be the best version of themselves. So again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then have a great day.